So I'm sure you've looked at the thumbnail by now and thought, man, did Johnny Depp actually say that? Well, I'll let you decide. Now, what we're talking about today, it comes from an interview where Johnny Depp, he talks about Hollywood, he talks about Disney, and he talks about his current situation. Now, this interview, it actually came up a couple of years ago, but it explains so much in our current situation. Whether we're talking about a certain pirate movie, and why a certain place or Hollywood might go against it, why they might actually go against a certain actor, and and what the impact of all of those AH rumors and allegations, what they had not on just him, but his kids. So let's check this out together, and wow, what a mess. So hey there. Now over the last few weeks, a lot of people have been waking up to the situation in Hollywood and saying to themselves, yeah, there's something inherently wrong these days. But you know what? This stuff has been going on for quite some time. Now with regard to Hollywood and how they treat people, this article itself comes from GQ, and it's a reaction to the Rolling Stone interview entitled The Trouble with Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, he did not take kindly to that interview either. He says, basically, it was a hit piece. It was a sham. I was absolutely shafted. The guy walked in with absolutely one intention, and I could see it, and I thought maybe I could help him understand, you know. Quote, I trusted J.W., the co-founder and publisher of Rolling Stone, as I knew him through Hunter S. Thompson. I trusted what the magazine stood for, or what it used to stand for. I wanted J.W. to see if he could write, to see if a piece could be written, to put things into perspective. That's all, just to put things into in perspective. Now, as far as that word goes, perspective, and why all of this stuff happens, you know, why you get a Rolling Stone article or why you get all of these other hit pieces, Johnny Depp said it's because of Hollywood, because Hollywood is this vile, blanking circus. Quote, Depp said he believes there's a bigger conspiracy about his trouble surrounding his finances and his marriage and called the industry, quote, this vile, blanking circus. After talking about the management group and his legal battle, with his former business managers, Joel and Robert Mandel. Now, if you don't know what that's about, well, think about this framing. You have the Rolling Stone come out and talk about Depp's financial situations, where they say that he's near broke, basically saying that he had squandered $650 million. What they leave out of this is a lawsuit against Depp's longtime business partners and their firm, TMG, for negligence, breach of fiduciary duty, fraud, forgery, and theft. So after discussing that, the legal battle, and at the time they were at a settlement phase, he said, but it did stop all the power mongers in Hollywood who were interested in shutting me up. Big money was being thrown around. People suing me at every opportunity. I mean, it's all so obvious. Listen, I was never going to be Cinderella. I know this and I accept it, but it felt like within a very, very short period of time that suddenly this version, for a lack of better word, of Cinderella had been a immediately turned into the beast. He's Quasimodo. Now, with regard to finances and also to the AH stuff, he adds, I could feel people look at me differently because of the accusations towards you. And then people start putting things in magazines. He's insane. He needs to take a sanity test. You know, ludicrous stuff. But the only thing that I could do was know what I still know. Ultimately, the truth will come out in all of this, and I will be standing on the right side of the Roaring Rapids. The right side of the Roaring Rapids, indeed. I think that was a good way to put this, don't you? Now, as far as Depp and Disney are concerned, I thought that this was absolutely fascinating because Depp, he talks about having a bad relationship with Disney. Now, as a brief aside, we don't know why that animosity exists. Perhaps it's personality conflicts, perhaps too many alphas in the room, or perhaps they didn't like his sense of humor. See, during that interview, he admitted that he snuck a certain term into the first Pirates film. I don't know how this platform feels about this term, so I'm going to call it dirty s but yeah depp said he managed to sneak the term dirty s into the first pirates of the caribbean film and a reporter they caught this and they wrote about it that quote it's unfathomably gross and a term for an obscene s to the e to the x act that couldn't be less suitable for inclusion in a 300 million dollar disney film about a pirate itself based on a family-friendly theme park ride in florida now johnny depp he admitted 
to doing this. He said, yeah, I put it in Pirates there. They never caught it when it went out to theaters. They caught it when it went to DVD. I did it because I wanted to see who would be the first one at Disney to find it. Whatever the case may be, in general, Depp says, he and Disney have always had a bad relationship. Quote, Disney hated me. They were thinking of every way they could to get rid of me. To fire me. Oh, we're going to have to subtitle him. We don't understand Captain Jack Sparrow. What's wrong with him? Notice that word, wrong with him. What's wrong, again, with his arms? Is he drunk? Is he mentally blanking, stupefied? Is he gay? Now think about that statement for just a second. We don't understand Captain Jack Sparrow. What's wrong with him? When he does that thing with his arms, moving it around and being animated and on, what's wrong with that? Is he supposed to be drunk? Is he mentally stupefied? Is he gay? Now, if you want a real feel for Hollywood, look at the reaction the reporter has. First of all, they're taken aback by this question. They clarify it. They say, hey, did that really happen? And Johnny Depp says, yeah, they openly ask me that question. Then they make an excuse for it. They say, well, that's Nina Jacobson. Nina Jacobson from Disney, she herself isn't straight. She has, quote unquote, campaigned for greater diversity within the all-male club of old Hollywood boardrooms. Therefore, it's okay. But really, when you ask that question in regard to everything else we saw, what is that trying to say? For me, that's at least a statement about Disney. But hey, I'll leave it up to you. Now, Johnny Depp's answer to this is pretty entertaining, at least in my opinion. He says, quote, my tendency, of course, is to be irreverent. So I said, Nina, don't you know all of my characters are gay? That was a pretty abrupt end to the conversation. And I just just continued shaping Jack the way I believed was best. Now, Depp was also asked if he was angry at Disney for its lack of vision or its lack of trust, and he said, no, I told them, look, you don't like what I'm doing, fire me. You hired me to do a job and play the character, and this is what I want to do. This is the work. I mean, hadn't they seen any of the work I'd done previously? You might want to take a look at that before you hire a bleep. You know. Now, this, like I've said before. Now, in addition to this, he talks about the AH situation. And there's two things that he brings up that I find to be very telling. Number one, he talks about how his lawyers are going to sort things out. And, well, that's actually come to pass. To harm someone you love as a kind of bully. No, it didn't. It couldn't even sound like me. So, initially, I just kept my mouth shut, you know. It was going to stick to me, and it was going to get weirder. Keep going, you know. Go now. Nuts. I ain't going to get into a bleeping contest with someone about it. Spit out what you need to spit out, you know. My attorneys will take care of the rest. I never went out and spoke about the bleep. Now, the second portion is probably the most troubling for me because as a parent, I can identify with this and I would hate for my kids to have to deal with a situation like this. I mean, the accusations are bad enough, but to have your kids in the center of it, I mean, that is an absolute mess. He said, quote, To take away future earnings that are my kids, you know, I do this blank for my kids, man. How could someone, anyone, come out with something like that against someone when there's no truth to it whatsoever? I'm sure it wasn't easy for my 14-year-old boy to go to school, you know what I mean, with people going, hey, look at this magazine, man. What, your dad beats up chicks or something? Why did he have to go through that? Why did my daughter have to go through that? What's more is he brings up the impact that this has on his family, that it has on his kids. And he says the reason for this is not A.H. The reason for this is because people, they're trying to end you. But of course I care what my family and kids think. I mean, you realize right away, essentially, that what is being done is the commencement of what they hope is to be your funeral. And worse than that, he continues, to take away future earnings that are my kids, you know, I do this blank for my kids, man. How could someone, 
anyone come out with something like that against someone when there's no truth to it whatsoever. I'm sure it wasn't easy for my 14-year-old boy to go to school, you know what I mean, with people going, hey, look at this magazine, man. What, your dad beats up chicks or something? Why did he have to go through that? Why did my daughter have to go through that? Now, the most insane thing in this, too, and the thing that I want to end on is the fact that in 2018, Johnny Depp is asking hard-hitting questions, asking the media to look into this stuff. This place, they actually report this, and then they apologize for doing so. That's right, they apologize for letting him actually tell his side of things. He mentions the police here, for example. Why didn't that person speak to the police? I mean, if they spoke to the police, but the police saw nothing, and they offered an EMT. She said, no, police see nothing on her. Police see nothing broken in the place. No marks. They offer an EMT to have a look at her. She says, no. And I don't know if it was the next day or a couple of days later, but then there was a bruise. There was a red mark, and then there was a brown bruise. Then they talk about the party that she was at, how those images, they weren't there on her. She was at a party the next day. Her eye wasn't closed. She had her hair over her eye, but you could see her eye wasn't shut. 25 feet away from her, how the bleep am I going to do that to her? Which, by the way, is the last thing I would have done. I might look stupid, but I ain't that bleeping stupid. Then they apologize, like I say for putting this in here, to suggest that a woman, a man, or anyone might have made up such a serious allegation is a tremendously dangerous and damaging thing to do. If we as a global community are striving for equality and acceptance to run through every part of our lives, then all races, cultures, and genders, then we need to believe those who stand up and claim to have been subjected to this type of thing. Let me be clear, this is not a piece of investigative reporting. It's a Merely a snapshot, a chance to sit down and talk to a person of immense interest and talent who has, it must be noted, brought joy to millions of film lovers all over the world, and it goes on from there. But you see the problems in all of this. You see the problems with Hollywood. You see the problems with reporting. You see the problems with Disney. All of this is made manifest here. This stuff, it was covered in 2018, and these folks, they shy away from it. Why do they do that? Is it because of a cultural problem? Is it because of something bigger? Johnny Depp says it's something bigger. He lays out a case for it. I say, oh, who knows? But no, regardless, it's a mess, and I'm glad the truth is finally coming out. But anyway, you tell me what you think about this stuff. So to close this out, I want to mention our comic book. It's in demand right now, meaning you can pick it up. Link is in the description, and we desperately need help getting that word out. Why? Because other places, they just won't let us, because we talk about things like this, changing up industry issues, and so on. Also, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up. You make these endeavors possible, and I truly mean that. Not enough people say it, but you, you make this stuff work. Without you, none of it happens. So thank you, appreciate you, and until next time, see you soon.